Company executive Robert Fecano accountable again for how he's handing out millions of dollars in taxpayer money. And Fecano promised to end a lucrative perk that cost the Broke County a small fortune, but he has not come through on his promise. Investigator Ross Jones joins us live via Skype with more on this. Ross, what did you find out? Well, uh, Vic Alicia, good morning. Wayne County government may be broke, but that has not stopped them from spending money like it's the good old days. The story we did last night was about a perk that's called the five to one match. It paid Bob Picano and many of his appointees five dollars for every one dollar they put towards their 401k. After we exposed the severance about a year and a half ago, Facano said he was going to end the perk. He said it was too extravagant. Well, that was 534 days ago, and he hasn't changed a thing. You said you were ending the five to one match. You never did. Why? Absolutely right. Misstated. We wanted to make sure that we could change the whole retirement package. So try to follow along with this. Unlike 2011 Fakano, who wanted to end the perk, 2013 Fakano says he wants to keep it going until he can change retirement benefits throughout the county. In other words, he'll let his and his appointees 401ks continue to grow while he tries to shrink retirement costs countywide. When I looked at it, I thought it would be the only thing that we needed to change. I realized that the county had its most difficulty with the pensions, so we wanted to reform all of it at the same time. What he doesn't mention, though, is that no one's made more off 5 to 1 than him. He tops the list of 1,700 county employees, more than $464,000 in county contributions alone. In fact, some of the highest earners are Fakano's own appointees. And more than a year ago, the county his retirement board told him that for those 200 or so, he could kill the five to one match anytime he wants. You can change 200 of them right now. I would, we want to make it across the board because the 200 are the only ones taking the 10% pay cut right now. He's lying. Fukano should know better than to say that, says Union President Joyce Ivory. She and about 1,500 county employees are stomaching 10% cuts. Hopefully that's not news to the man who put them into place. My members lost homes, cars, everything. So what has been the cost of keeping the perk around for the last year and a half? Well, by our estimate, it has cost the Broke County about $2 million more. For Bob Bacano, it means about $25,000 more for his 401k, Vic and Alicia. Certainly some enlightening information there, Ross. Also coming down yesterday, big news regarding Turkia Mullen. Is there any surprise in your investigation and your experience in this case that the arbitrator said that she basically won and awarded her $700,000 from the airport? Yeah, well, after she was fired from the airport, we took her contract to a lot of employment experts and showed it to them to try to figure out how likely it was she was going to get the rest of this very large uh, contract, totally more than 700 grand, and they all agreed it was pretty likely. So it was not a huge surprise uh, that Mullen is going to be paid this uh, money. She is going to break her silence. She's been quiet for the last year and a half ever since she got fired from the airport, but she's supposed to make some sort of a statement today at 10 o'clock, and my colleague Heather Gatano is going to be there, but it's it's interesting to note she's not going to be taking any questions from reporters about anything. That might be because she is still uh, the focus of an FBI probe that's been going on the last year and a half, and she may not want to field any questions about that. All right, Ross, we appreciate it. At least we're going to hear from her from the first time on everything that has gone down, Ross.